a man with a beard from the DOD said to me, not so differently what all of the ethnic human visitors to University of Washington instead, with their bodies After a schizophrenic man wanted to stab me and kill me and murder me and destroy me and cause me death and dying with his pistol, the other man carried with his stick and his sword, his knife and his backpack full of explosives, who was looking for a place to put them in Fallujah, Seattle, Washington State. However, he wasn't a veteran no different than all of the other fake veterans who wear the army jackets they bought on the internet with the man who treats his beard with loving, tenderly care with his gender neutral hands he uses to wave and wave and wave goodbye to all his friends who love Adam as much as he does, who bullies as much as they all do in silence. And after the guy with the DOD jacket left and all of the other humans paused from their schizophrenia they received from the neuropsyops, independent contracting from Blue Circle technology, slightly different than the United States Army and their psychological operations where they have a place in Fort Bragg where they have a lab and not an AI surgery clinic where we remove the midbrain of the bully addict who only wants stimulation after they're done with their reward and their stimulation they enjoy after they give up their final part of their neuron, signing away thousands of dollars to me and Dr. Manuel Ferrer Jr. who now retires a wealthy well-respected neurosurgeon who no longer has to do the surgery that the AI robot does for all the drug addicts and sex traffickers who visit University of Washington more than I read behavioral neurobiology in silence. 